Good day viewers, you are welcome. How to solve these functional equations for P of Y if we are given a domain of the functions P of Y plus 3 equals Y squared plus 3Y plus 2. So to solve this problem, We are going to consider two different methods here as from the function we have p of y plus 3 equals we have the quadratic at the right hand side by factorizing this one completely we have y squared plus so the 3y here is the sum and uh, why this one is the product we look for two number that the sum will be three and uh, the product will be two and uh, which are y plus two y so y plus two y it gives us three y then plus two and we consider the coefficient of this y which is one then one times two that gives us two then we have to group this together as we have y squared plus y plus also 2y plus 2. Then after having this, what is common here is y. Because y squared is y times y. Let's take out y from here. By taking out y, we have this as y plus 1. So y times y, that is y squared. y times 1, that is y. Plus, let's take out 2 from here. Taking out 2, we have y plus 1. So 2 times y, that is 2y. And 2 times 1, that is 2. So having this, let's consider this in brackets. They are the same. Let's take their coefficients together. So we have y plus 2. Then multiply by y plus 1. This is the factor of the quadratic only. Then, let's try to consider this domain. The domain here is given as y plus 3. And here we have y plus 2. Here is y plus 1. To get y plus 3 from this, what we do is we try to manipulate this. So since what we need here is y plus 3, and this is also y plus 3. By manipulation, we have y plus 3 that we need. But initially, it was y plus 2. Adding 1 plus to this, it means we are going to subtract 1 outside. So the whole of this gives y plus 2. And also to this as well, we have y plus 3 that we need. But it was y plus 1 we have to subtract 2 from this and the whole of this is p of y plus 3 then by replacing y plus 3 with y therefore p of y equals this has changed to y then minus 1 multiplied by also this is y minus 2 so next let's expand this out y times y that is y squared minus y times 2 we have 2y minus 1 times y that is y plus 1 times 2 that is 2 then after having this we have y squared minus 2y minus y that is minus 3y then plus 2 this is for p of y so this makes sense initially we have plus and now we have negative just a slight difference so here is the first method to solve this how do you see this let's see the second method of solving these same questions and see which one is what much more effective For the second method of solving these same questions, what we need here is y. But initially we're giving y plus 3. 
Suppose I let my y, if I change this y to y minus 3, it means every single term here will be changing to y minus 3. So by testing for the first one, if we have y squared, and which has been changed to y plus y minus 3, then we have it as y minus 3 raised to the power of 2. When we expand this, it means we write it in two times as y minus 3 multiplied by y minus 3. The expansion of this gives us y times y, that is y squared, minus y times 3, that is 3y, minus 3 times y, we have it as 3y, plus 3 times 3, that is 9. Here we have uh, y squared minus 6 y plus 9. This is what we have for y squared. And also we have 3y, which we have changed y to y minus 3. Here we have 3y, which is equals 3 into bracket of y minus 3. And 3 into bracket of y minus 3, this gives us 3y minus 9. Let's come back to the function. We have p of y plus 3 as our y here is now y minus 3. Then plus 3 equals for our y squared, we have gotten the all of the results to be equals y squared minus 6y plus 9. And we have plus 3y there. Plus 3y is given as plus 3y minus 9, then plus 2. These are the things that we have. But after having this, so this go, and we have p of y equals, we have y squared minus, we have minus 3, minus 6y plus 3y. And that gives us minus 3y. And also we have plus 9, minus 9 cancelled where we have only plus 2. Wow, we get the same result when we apply this method and the first method. But this method is small of substitutions. So just replacing y with y minus 3. Or if you can't do like that, we can just say let y plus 3 equals another letter. So let's say I choose letter y. But here, I'm not choosing letter y, I'm also choosing y itself, but subtracting 3 from it, just to get p of y. So this is how I solve this problem. If you have another method of doing this, you can drop it in the comment box. And don't forget to give a like, share, and subscribe to this channel. See you in the next video. Never stop learning. Bye-bye.